chances are your entire workday, maybe even your whole life, lives inside your digital calendar. But what if that simple tool was exposing way more than you think? Well, today, we're going to dive into the hidden risks in your calendar and talk about how you can take back control. And you really have to ask yourself this. I mean, your calendar knows who you're meeting, what you're talking about, and where you're going. It's basically a detailed roadmap of your professional life. And all that sensitive information could easily be exposed, a lot of times without you even knowing it. And look, this isn't some niche problem we're talking about. A whopping 70% of professionals now depend on digital calendars to manage their day. And when you have that many people using something, the security of it becomes absolutely critical. So to kick things off, what are the actual dangers here? We need to understand that the risk goes far, far beyond someone just knowing you have a dentist appointment on Tuesday. No, the risks are really serious. I mean, think about it. Competitors could see your meeting titles and piece together your next big business move. Hackers could see your meeting with the finance department and send a perfectly timed, totally believable fake invoice. And in fields like healthcare or law, where you've got strict privacy rules like HIPAA, an exposed calendar isn't just an oops. It's a major compliance breach. Okay, so what does Outlook, the tool most of us are using, actually do to help with this? It does have some protections built in, but the real question is, are they enough? Let's take a look at what you get right out of the box. By default, Outlook gives you a basic layer of privacy. For most people inside your company, your calendar just shows up as these big, busy blocks. They know you're not available, but they don't know why. And look, that's a decent start, right? But what if you want to lock things down even more for, say, everybody in the company? Well, you have to go digging through the settings manually. It's this whole multi-step dance you have to do for every single calendar you manage. And if you're juggling a few of those, that gets old fast. But this is where it starts to get really interesting, because if you're just relying on those default settings, you might be leaving some pretty big security holes wide open. Let's dig into where these standard protections start to fall apart. Okay, let's take a super common scenario, especially for an executive or maybe someone in HR. What if you want every single meeting you create to be marked as private automatically? Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? Well, this right here is where you see the big disconnect. On the desktop version of Outlook, it's possible, but you have to basically become a coder and write a custom script to make it happen. I mean, who's really going to do that? And on the web version? Nope, not an option. You have to remember to click private every single time. So why not just make everything private then, even if it's a pain? Well, it turns out that going full black box on your calendar creates a whole new set of problems. If your schedule is just a wall of busy, your team can't see anything. They can't schedule around your important deadlines, and that leads to endless email chains and a lot of frustration. So this is what leads us to look for a better way to handle all this. When the native tools just aren't flexible enough, you start needing something with more sophisticated, more customizable controls. And that's exactly where third-party apps like Virto Calendar step in. They are built from the ground up to give you that granular, advanced privacy control that the standard tools just don't have, letting you really fine-tune who gets to see what. Yeah, we're talking about a totally different mindset here. Instead of Outlook's basic on or off privacy switch, tools like Virto give you a full-on control panel. You can set permissions for each event, create specific user rules, you can finally get away from that clunky one-size-fits-all approach. And here's a perfect example of where that super customizable power really shines. So you could set up a role for an executive assistant where they can see and edit everything for their specific executive, but nobody else. At the same time, a team member might only get to see event titles and times, just enough context to schedule meetings without seeing sensitive info. Now that is real practical control. What's also really smart is how it enhances security by hooking directly into SharePoint. This means your calendar's privacy rules aren't just floating out there on their own. They automatically sync up with the data policies your company already has in place. It's consistent, it's strong, and best of all, you don't have to do any extra work to set it up. And really, this is what it all boils down to. Real control over your calendar isn't just about locking everything down. It's about confidently sharing the right information with the right people so you get that perfect balance between keeping things private and letting your team actually collaborate. So, I'll leave you with this question. I mean, take a good, hard look at your own calendar. 
Is your current setup truly protecting your sensitive information while still helping your team get things done? Or are there maybe some gaps there that are leaving you and your company a little too exposed? 